Hello everybody, Herp Joe Pio Morris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. In the last episode, we realized that Cacletta and Fafel completely destroyed and mutilized this village. And, well, it's just completely mutilized and destroyed. Also, Cacletta went toward the castle after attacking the town. Queen Bean may be in danger. So, we're going to actually head up to Bean Bean Castle, which is apparently up this way and actually make it up there. Does this hurt you? No, 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 it doesn't. Uh, I was just, <laughs> they're just blocking you, so... Anyway, so, uh, no, do we need to save? No, we don't need to save. Let's just head right up here and... Oh, look, here's guards. Halt, you there, Halt! You can't just waltz on in here. The town has just been attacked, which means the castle could be attacked at any moment. Lady Lima has instructed us not to allow anyone to enter the castle. Anyone whatsoever! Having said that, if you still wish to enter, you must explain your names and your motives. What? You are the world-famous Mario? What? You're the legendary Luigi? Uh, Luigi who? Shh, I have no idea. <laughs> if you really are the superstar Mario for the Mushroom Kingdom, then prove it! Why does all he have to do is jump just to prove himself? That, that jump! No mistaking it! This guy's really Mario? Shh, I can't be certain. <laughs> anyway, what business would the famous Mario and the wee, uh, other guy have in this castle? <laughs> Uh, uh, ho, 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 oh, I see, gotcha. What do they want? No clue. <laughs> Love this. Enough! Regardless of all that nonsense, you may not enter, now be gone! Princess Beasley's Rose? Are you friends of the prince? Um, listen, I think maybe we ought to let these guys inside. Um, okay, take into account that Rose your wacky story. We can allow you to enter. That was one wacky story. Woo! Okay, so now let's actually enter Bean Bean Castle. So, let's head up here. Is there any other way we can go? Wow. I like this music. This place sounds kind of regal. What do these guys have to say? Authorized personnel only. Let me guess. The other one... Uh, I knew it. Authorized personnel only. Every two guards guarding the same exact thing say the same exact thing they have to say. If one's guarding, I say authorized personnel only. So, this is the other one. Is this guy sleeping or is he dead? Dot, dot, dot. Well, Master Mario, Master Luigi... Who's this? Oh my god, it's Cacletta. Or Lady Lima. I'm Lady Lima, highest of the K's court. The gatekeepers told me if you are indeed the Mario and Luigi of fame, the superstars. Yes, I can't deny that such jumping is the hallmark of the Mario and Luigi of legend. Pardon me? What are you trying to tell me? Oh, do speak up. Oh, such ruckus! Speak in softer voices! Now hear me, as you saw, the town is in ruins and the castle is under strict guard. In a time like this, I cannot allow such a suspicious pair such as you beat the queen. As the queen's longest serving lady at court, I must act in the interest of her royal safety. And open her trap door. Of course she does, for crap's sakes. In my words! If you two are indeed the true Marion brothers, you must prove it by repairing the castle's plumbing. If you are able to completely fix it, you may meet the queen bean. Now then, show me the work ethic of the Sutra Superstar Mother Brothers! So, I guess we're in the catacombs of Bean Bean. Oh, that wall was apparently just a wall, so I can't, you know, completely just walk into it. I thought it was just like a blue part of the part, blue part of the background we could just walk through. So, now that I'm saving really quick, I'm just going to, as soon as it's done, we're just going to move on. And what the heck is this thing? This thing looks like, uh, I don't even know, what is this? Is this, uh... I don't know, Negafly? Yeah, it sounds like it would be a Negaf Negafly! Nega Negafly, for crap's sakes. Oh, it's called a Superfly. <laughs> That's no better. It's Superfly. This thing is Superfly. And I got a Lucky, so awesome awesome. So let's get a jump off this Superfly and get another jump off of this Superfly. And we have actually destroyed them. So we got nothing out of that battle. Big whoop. So how are we going to fix the plumbing? Well, I assume it has something to do with these pegs and hitting them with our hammer. So let's give him a good old whack with the hammer and... Yep! It actually works that way. <laughs> I'm actually pretty happy. So let's wait for this guy to attack us from behind. And let's hit him with our hammers because apparently we can't jump on him because anything with spikes, you know, you can't jump on. Oh, that thing is waddling towards us. It's just spinning straight towards us. So we hit him with our hammer. Oh, it's called a spiny. These are these are the thing Blackadoos throw. I'm not even sure if it's the actual kind. Because spinies are usually red and these are green. 
just a special kind of bean bean spiny maybe. So we're actually going to use our hammer. Uh, people have been telling me to try to use the advanced options with bros attacks a little bit more often because it wastes less to be it wastes less BP and it's better for you. And it's better for you in the long run to try to get even better at using that because using less BP is apparently really good because more bros attacks means more damage means less battle time and you get a less chance of you to die. I completely understand it, being the fact that I, I'm probably going to st suck at doing this game completely in action commands and everything. Regardless of that, let's move on now that we've actually gotten everything through. Whack the stoppers. Yeah, I knew to whack the stoppers. Jeez, you didn't have to tell me. You didn't even have to tell me. Why is this sign at the far end of the maze where the stoppers are usually before you? It doesn't really make any sense. What do these superflies have to say? Well, who really cares since I already hit them on the head. So, let's try out our level 3 Splash Brothers attack and let's give it a shot. So, and I screwed it up. If you didn't already notice by now, I'm just completely botching this commentary since it's post-commentary. Since I deleted my old file by accident. I'm so sorry. I just felt like a dundernuts when I did that last. So, I think... Well, I'm not going to say I think because I think I... I'm pretty sure I remember this episode for beforehand. So we're going to end up using Splash Brothers again and getting it right this time, if I'm not mistaken. Bada bing, bada boom! And 17 damage. We did a lot more damage to that earlier when using the Splash Brothers level 3. Does a, does a lot for a little. And Mario levels up and takes me a while, but I finally decide on something. I actually consider everything and then I was like, uh, 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 just go back to my roots and pick HP. And I get a 2. Yeah, I call it. Booyah! So, so now that we're done fighting this super fly, we can head on. I am not turning into sledge and mallet. Jeez. We attack another super fly with our hammer and get them all dazed and confused, avoiding that movie title. And we're gonna use Splash Brothers again and actually get it right. Thank you for all the lighting around them. I noticed that I'm not sure what the level two has to offer. I guess it's a little bit more. I guess it's just a stepping stone leading you to your level three, but. I just skipped one to three, so I guess that's pretty good regardless. So now that we've got a mushroom, Luigi leveled up to level eight! And since Luigi leveled up to level eight, we are going to up his. Actually, can't remember. Bros points, and it's by. Two. Bada bing, bacha boom, up by a toe. So, I. You're gonna see a lot of that where I try to jump and actually swing my hammer by accident. I've noticed I've done that a lot in the past episodes. So what am I doing here? Oh, God, that's right. My friend my friend told me that uh, it would be wise for you to press the two L and R buttons at the same exact time in order to switch things twice time. It doesn't work here for some reason. I have no idea why. But later, when I try it out, it works just fine. So, let's use our solo attack with a Hamas and bada bing bada boom while he's dazed and confused. Let's just completely destroy him. <laughs> the thing I was talking about was when, it, when they're dazed and confused, their eyes are just so crazy. Like, ah, why are you hitting me? I only wanted a spiky hug. I only want a spiky hug. Please don't hurt me. I don't want to be hurt. Why do I give everybody this Austrian voice? For crap's sakes, I'm getting annoyed by that. Even by my own voice. So let's whack you with the hammer and get these two guys falling down. Oh, gosh. And then I realized, being as pro as I am, JK, I'm not all that pro. I just realized that this thing needs spinning, and bada bing bada boom, we already have a spinning attack by, by Mario. So instead of opening my pack like an idiot, I'm actually going to switch partners. Start and select are such bitches. So we're going to open up all these plugs, the water's going to flow, and if we hit the plugs one more time, the plugs go through. Yeah, I know it doesn't make any sense, but apparently it's a Mario game and it doesn't even need any sense. Nonsensical gibberish, supposedly. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. So, as soon as we hit these two uh, notches again, it's going to go all the way through, and we're going to be Atel. Atel. We're going to be Atel to enter the L. We're going to be able to enter that door. And I fall off again while still in a hammer, and I just completely botch it. So, Luigi's going to be in front for most of this because Luigi is awesome, man. Why not? And I didn't even notice. I didn't even need to spin this stupid thing, and it would send a monster right out of its hole, for crap's sakes. And I completely screw up getting hit by that guy. So can we just can we decide what to do? We use Splash Brothers and then Bata jump, Bata boom, and we do it again. I'm getting pretty good at the Splash Brothers attacks. I'm not going to complain. So let's hop that guy in the head again. Hop this guy on the head again with a hammer. Hammer. 
and just completely move on. Now that we've got Hema in hand, we can actually go to five. Smack him on the head again. Smack him on the head again. Why am I yawning? It may have sounded like I was trying to be dramatic, but no, I was just I was just really yawning there. Not even kidding. So it takes me forever to realize that there's an opening on the left side, genius. So it's just gonna be me walking around trying to figure out this stupid puzzle and like, uh, where am I supposed to go? I'm not gonna bother with that super fly because it's not even in the way. Wait, wait, is it down here? No, it's where I came in, you chuckle nuts. Chuckle. And for some reason, Mario got a back attack there. How was that a back attack? How was that a back attack? I don't even know. Mario just got hit in the back there without even noticing. And, ow, my head. So, Mario is going to use his bros attack, realizing that I only had two BP left, for crap's sake. I don't even pay attention to what I do. So, I'll hit him on the head with a hammer, hit this guy in the head with a jump. So, I'm just all hitting people on the head. Splash Brothers is doing a lot more damage than the other attack that Luigi has, so I just uh, go ahead and use Mario's, rather. <laughs> just for mostly. And I actually get hit by one of these... <sighs> I actually get hit by one of these spinies here. I luckily ac I actually... I luckily switched to hammer really fast as Luigi back there, and instead of jump. I thought I accidentally jumped on the guy instead of using my hammer. And then I realized, oh, we can jump up here. This must be the way to go. And then Mario gets another back attack and actually gets hit by these stupid mother actors. Oh, wait, no, he doesn't. Wait, does he? No, he doesn't. He just jumps right back up because the super fly goes after Luigi. So, hop on this guy. And this is where I start talking about, oh, am I going to get another game over? I'm going to be so angry. Excuse my language. I'm sorry. I do that a lot when I'm talking to other people. <laughs> so, let's hit hammer and bada boom. So let's hit him on the heads, and <laughs> I tried my best to make it seem like it wasn't post commentary earlier in the episode because I was thinking, you know what, I I'm just gonna completely milk it, make it sound like, oh, it's not post commentary, it's not post commentary, and then I just break in the middle of it. I'm like, oh, I can't lie to you guys, I can't deceive you, I'm not a jerk. And this is why I just heal Mario and Luigi using mushrooms, and I also need need to mention that I got a lot of mushrooms and syrups on the way to uh on the way to the destroyed village. I actually, I actually picked up uh, three mushrooms, three honey syrups, and I think four refreshing herbs. So now that I got that out of the way, I don't need to tell you the next part. I also need to tell you something else that happens in the next part later in the episode. So let's actually, can you guys please, can I, <laughs> you guys, I'd like to talk to myself. I actually try to spin that again, and then I spin it again, and nothing happens, and I realize, Hey, look, there's an opening over here! I'm a Chuckle Nuts, for crap's sake. I'm the biggest Chuckle Nuts I know. So, I don't even know what the puzzle is here. I suppose it only you only need to do this in four hits, but apparently I do it right on the first try without even thinking. So, clunk that one on the head, I clunk the bottom left one on the... And I have to switch back because of I forgot I forgot to switch back to my hammer. And that where I was jumping back on there was where I realized that I could really hit both of them at the same time, like my friend said. So now that that's out of the way, we got back to zero. I'm pretty sure if I would have failed at that, it would have been a slightly longer puzzle. But I didn't, so I'm happy that I didn't waste all of your time doing it because I wasted all of your time earlier with that stupid finding of the right passageway. So now that we are in this small room, we can actually. We can actually spin this thing without worry, if I can actually switch to Mario and spin it properly. So, now that we've got it spun, we can actually go into that room, and these two things pop up, and we can fix the plumbing. I don't understand why Cacletta knew the plumbing was uh, necessary, and, or why, sorry, why Lady Lima knew the plumbing was necessary, <laughs> and also why, uh... Uh, why she knew that it was broken, or why she needed it to be fixed. I suppose we'll find that out later. So, let's head out into the other area here, and now that we're over here... <laughs> whenever I try to make filler, I always... I notice this, whenever I try to make filler for my episodes, I always realize... This is where I fall again. I realize that I talk really, really slow as to make room for the walking to the next area... I'm doing it right now, and I I'm deceiving you. I deceived you. You didn't even notice. Well, maybe you did notice. So, anyway. So, let's hit this guy on the head while not falling off again. Mario, you're going to stay down there because Luigi's got this. He's just going to whack that guy on the head. And this room is the only one where it needs one, and it opens two doors. 
And this door is going to lead to a cage leading out. Oh, thank the stars you saved me, you heroic souls. Could you be the Mario Brothers from the Mushroom Kingdom? What are the Mario Brothers doing in a place like this? Huh? What? You claim that I dropped the pair of you down here and told you to fix the plumbing? Most perplexing. Why, we attacked by Kekletter and her fiends and we've been stuck here ever since. Hmm, perhaps the Lady Lima you encountered was... Kekletter. Of course it was. <laughs> Foolish Mario Brothers! You have failed completely! You've completely and pathetically fallen into my trap. I can't remember the voice I gave her. We're playing the pop. We're playing the pop. Is keep the calculate. Come on, it's over time. We must stop the build star faster than we're in this place. <laughs> at last, at long last, I have in my possession both the build star and Peach's voice. So now that we've got the bean star and Peach's voice, we can actually realize what is this bean star that she's talking about? That thing can grant all desires. The bean star. We have always remained at this castle, acting as guardians, protecting the Bean Star, and keeping it out of evil's hands. There's no doubt about it. Kekleta must be after the Bean Star. Oh ho! Oh ho! Horrorc, Mario Brothers, quickly now! You must go to the Bean Star. Go! You must let the Bean Star fall into the hands of evil. Quickly, quickly! Do not dawdle. So anyway, I decide in the next episode we're going to be finding the Bean Star and figure out where Kekleta is. Also, I go into the room where they came out and get a few mushrooms and a syrup and a lot of coins. So anyway, Herp Derp, I am Walrus, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.